The Bangalore-based Raman Research Institute has started work with the Indian Navy's Combat Systems Engineering Wing to develop secure communication channels of strategic importance using quantum technologies. The institute had announced last week about a groundbreaking demonstration of secure communication between a stationary source and a moving receiver using quantum key distribution. Although the Indian Navy intends to use it for ship to shore communication in the first phase, and later it would provide secure communications with nuclear armed submarines that are part of India's nuclear triad, that will enable Indian military planners to order a nuclear strike in response to a first strike without any delays. The commander of United States Pacific Air Forces General Wills Back has said that the participation of 2B-1B bombers in the COPE India 2023 air exercise in West Bengal is an opportunity for the crew to train with one another and incorporate the bombers into various scenarios and also improve tactics techniques and procedures. Analysts have said that the two air forces are developing tactics to engage the bombers, as the Indian Air Force needs to mitigate the threat posed by H-6K bombers of the Chinese Air Force. A US official has said that it would cost around $1 billion for India to acquire a squadron of B-1B bombers and cruise missiles. The Ministry of Defence is procuring 415 light electric vehicles for the Indian Army and 24 for the Indian Air Force under the Buy Indian category, with minimum 50% indigenous content, and the Ministry seeks participation in the procurement process from prospective bidders. The electric light vehicles should be able to achieve speeds up to 120 km per hour, and can carry a payload of 900 kg, and must have a range of 400 km. The Indian Army will soon carry out field evaluation trials of vendors who will respond to the tender. General Atomics has revealed a new munition known as Long Range Maneuvering Projectile for 155mm M777 howitzers, that has a maximum range of 150km. When fired, the six control fins on the long-range maneuvering projectile reduces the rate of spin to 20 revolutions per second, and the pair of dihedral wings are deployed, and it heads towards the target at the given coordinates. General Dynamics plans to carry out its first test by the end of this month, and this projectile would be of great interest for the Indian Army for its M triple regiments deployed across the eastern and western borders. Cochin Shipyard Limited will start delivery of six next-generation missile vessels to the Indian Navy from March 2027, that will be armed with eight Brahmos surface-to-surface missiles, as well as DRDO-developed VLSR SAM, and will feature state-of-the-art stealth technology such as low-radar cross-section, low-acoustic magnetic and infrared signatures. Military analysts have said, that if Cochin Shipyard plays its cards correctly, it might become the next big thing in the export market, as many smaller countries are interested to operate such ships, as the Brahmos missile on the next generation missile vessel can sink ships that have four times more displacement.